Breaking news, my country people. The earlier Nigerians come to realize that our politicians are only out for their selfish interests, the better for us. So we can forge ahead and not rely on our politicians. The G5 governor split may endorse different candidates on election eve. There are indications that the integrity group of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, also known as G5, will disclose their stand on presidential candidates few hours to the February 25th, 2023 presidential election. The group of G5, pardon, the group of five governors led by Yesom Wike of River State had failed to publicly endorse any of the presidential candidates in January. As promised, other members of the group are Sheyi Makinde, Samuel Otom, Ifani Ogwanyi, and Okeze Ipazu. News reports told us that uh, Nwike and his group changed their minds from disclosing their presidential candidates in January because of some recent political developments. And as we all know, the G5 has been in a running battle with the, PD, uh, with the PDP over refusal of the national chairman of the party, Ayoche Ayu, to resign following the emergence of uh, uh, the former vice president, Atiku Abubakar, as the presidential candidate of the party. Wiki and his members said Ayoche's continued stay as the party's national chairman is against the power rotation principle of the party and the federal chapter clause as enshrined in the 1999 constitution. Now, uh, the PDP governors decided to jointly uh, endorse a presidential candidate, you know, but all this while they have kept silence. They have not, you know, endorsed the particular presidential candidate. However, Governor Tom had publicly endorsed the, the, the Labour Party presidential candidate, Mr. Pito B, while his Oyo State counterpart, Mark Inde, has not disclosed his preference. It was gathered that the remaining three governors, Winke, Ipazu, and Ogwani, are also divided on their choice. Now, they formed this group and they named their group Integrity Group. So Nigerians were expecting that, okay, these five you know, governors will come together and endorse a preferred presidential candidate. But we go around seeing Wike doing one thing, uh, Autumn, as we already know, have endorsed the P2B. Uh, Shei Makinde is yet to endorse a, a, his own presidential candidate. Also, uh, Ipazu and Ogwani, they are still divided on their choices on whom, you know, to, to endorse. So I don't know what is really going on with the G5. It seems that they have lost their integrity. They have lost what you know they stood for at the initial uh, beginning when they formed their group. It is just so, you know, because Nigerians have been putting eyes on them, but yet the G5 governors have failed to endorse one presidential candidate. And Nigerians have been condemning them for their actions, all the noise they have made, all the distractions going around, dragging Atiku Abubaka, Ayu, and Nigerians are talking that, look at, they lack integrity. In fact, they don't stand for what they stand for before. Now, Nigerians have also pointed fingers at uh, Yenson Wike, stating that Yenson Wike is just a confused man, like he doesn't know what he's fighting for anymore. You know, he has lost his main focus uh, focus of what <laughs> he was fighting for, my country people. It's only God eh, that will deliver us in this country. That is why each and every one of us should just sit back, you know, and wait for the election. So we can vote our own preferred presidential candidate. We don't need to wait for any governor, any G5 governor to tell us, who to vote for and who not to vote for. Nigerians know who they want. It doesn't matter if any of the G5 governor be the governor of your state or whatever. You, you alone have your voice. Yes, my country people. I'm dropping here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts concerning this in the comment section down below. Thank you.
Bye.